Welcome everyone to Catholic Sunday Scriptures in Context. This is a ministry of the Augustinian Order, as well as St. Paul Parish and St. Augustine Parish, both here in Philadelphia. This is the last of our readings from the Gospel of John. Next Sunday, we return to the Gospel of Mark, and it's the end of chapter 6, which is John's Gospel about uh, the Eucharist. Um, we start off with our first reading from the book of Joshua. And Joshua, uh, who means, whose name means God saves, was the successor to Moses. Moses was not permitted to enter the promised land, although he went to the top of Mount Nebo and was able to see it. But because of uh, knocking on this, the rock twice with a stick, because he doubted, he was not permitted to enter the promised land. And so the name Jesus is the Aramaic version of Joshua. It's the same name. And just as Joshua led the people into the promised land, Jesus leads us into the promised land of heaven. And Joshua is saying to the people as they enter this new land that you can believe in our gods or you can believe in their gods. And Joshua says, as for me and my household, we will serve the Lord and the people uh, reiterate that and say that we too, the God who saved us out of Egypt, we too will serve that God. We also will serve the Lord for he is our God. And this reading is here because in the gospel, many people leave uh, Jesus because they find it hard to understand and to believe that he is the bread of life. Our second reading comes from Paul's letter to the Ephesians. And in this part, we sort of have the guidelines for uh, Christian living. It's the second part of it. And um, here it is um, um, about the family. And this is our last reading from Ephesians. Next week, we have the letter to James. And to understand this properly, we need to understand the family structure of Roman society. And everything focused on the pater familius. He was in charge of everything and everybody. And it all worked as a, a family unit, and it was about production, making sure that there was enough food for people, that there was safety and security and housing, that their needs were taken care of. And this wasn't to be the boss, right? But this was the one who was responsible. And the best response here, as the reading says, is to love. If you love, then the family will grow. And what's interesting is uh, is that first word here in this reading, they use the word subordinate. But the better translation of this context here is to defer, is to realize somebody needs to be the head of the family and make these decisions. It's better than the word obey. So, you know, I hear here I highlighted subordinate, um, you know, but there it is, love your wives. Um, and here, husbands should love their wives. And that's the main role. So, you know, the family of the Romans is much different than the family of that we have today. And we need to put this reading into context to fully understand the message here. And lastly, here's the last section of chapter six of John. Again, he's dealing with the hard headedness of the people who don't want to understand this message. And Jesus is the teaching of the Father. He is the bread of life. And if you consume this teaching, if you believe it, you are eating it, and it must be accepted, absorbed, assimilated, and devoured. And this, one of the heresies in the early church was the docetist. They thought that Christ was fully divine, but only appeared to be human. And that's why in our creed we say he was fully human and fully divine, because if he weren't, then if you weren't fully human, then the suffering he did wouldn't mean anything to us because we too as humans suffer and we suffer as Christ suffered and we should put up with it as Christ put up with it. You know, if we didn't think he was human, um, we just say, well, he doesn't have to suffer like I did. No, he did suffer like we did. And, you know, they have the word murmuring here again, which goes back to the time in the Sinai desert when the people murmured against Moses and really were complaining against God that they didn't have the bread from heaven. So he's tying this in with that reading. And the words I have spoken to you are spirit and life, you know, so both human and divine. 
and uh, you know you have the words of eternal life. So believe, consume them, and you will be saved. Please pray for peace in Ukraine and in the Holy Land. And if you think this is helpful to someone, please pass it on. Take care very much also. This coming week, the 28th, is the Feast of St. Augustine. Celebrate with joy.